We need to do this in a way that reflects an appropriate view of the role of government, one that takes a light touch approach to fast changing technologies. The FCC has just taken initial steps to regulate internet service providers the same way it regulates telephone companies. Although Chairman Julius Janikowski has said he would use any regulatory powers with a light touch, having the FCC control any aspect of the internet is a really bad idea for at least three reasons. The FCC, which was created to regulate scarce spectrum space, was rebuffed by the courts in earlier attempts to assert control over cyberspace. Despite hypothetical blocking of certain sites and services by net neutrality diehards, the fact of the matter is that the internet is working perfectly well and the reach of broadband continues to grow exponentially. The FCC is far from a well-functioning agency to begin with. Don't forget, this is the same crew that recently brought you impossibly Byzantine ownership rules for radio and television stations and hysterical overreactions to Nipplegate and fleeting expletives uttered at award shows by such public enemies as Cher, Bono, and Nicole Richie. Though Janikowski stresses he sees no role for the FCC to regulate online content, all government agencies act like private businesses. They need to grow or die. The FCC has been pushing hard to extend its reach from broadcast media to cover cable and satellite offerings for a long time. There's every reason to believe that once the FCC gets to control how you get on the internet, it'll start dictating other terms as well. Chairman Janikowski has promised that he'd regulate with a light touch, but even a light touch is a lot harder than no touch at all. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie. Reason, touch, touch.